guys happy friday welcome back to fearless fridays today is friday april 16th and this is episode 85 of fearless fridays as always i welcome you to the show whether it's your first time watching or you're a return watcher welcome 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 so this week as i was pondering what i was going to um to share this week what i wanted to talk about this week i had a few different topics and ideas lined up um, and it was really hard for me to focus on one specific topic because my mind and my heart are both heavy um, with the recent continued transgressions of law enforcement in the United States of America. Um, and yes, I, I call them transgressions and they are not, um, they're shocking because you should not fear for your life in the presence of law enforcement that's problematic in and of itself so they're they're shocking because of the perpetrators but they're not shocking because this is something that happens and continues to happen and has been happening for a very 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 long time where um you know black people in this country fear for their lives in the presence of law enforcement, which should not be the case. And so, you know, it was hard for me to focus on one topic because this was something that was just heavy in my heart and, and, and in my mind. And, um, you know, we always, you know, we want to post hashtags of the people's names, the names of, you know, the name of the person who has been shot or killed or maimed or injured in some way, or we want to hashtag a movement and it seems like to me, we wouldn't have to create and continue to create so many hashtags of names and movements and stop hate against these people or stop hate against these people. We wouldn't have to do that if we would just <sighs> dismantle white supremacy. Like, that's the plainest way I can put it. Because it seems like there's a new hashtag every month, every week, every year of some some people group who needs to be defended, who needs to be supported, who needs to be uplifted, who needs um, our love and our and our um, our defense. And really, at the end of the day, it's all about the fact that white supremacy in this country has been allowed to continue. And that's the problem. That's the problem, you know? Um, and that's the thing that needs to be abolished. If we would hashtag and white supremacy, <laughs> we wouldn't have to hashtag anything else. We wouldn't have to hashtag Black Lives Matter. We wouldn't have to hashtag stop Asian hate. We, we wouldn't have to hashtag names of people. We, we wouldn't have to do that if we would just end this idea that certain people are supreme in our society. And that's really what has been on my heart and mind. And it's been hard to kind of articulate that. Um, I watched a video of Trevor Noah talking about how, you know, people talk about, you know, all police aren't bad. There are just a few bad apples. And, and, and his response to that was, well, where are the good apples? And I just thought that was so good because we know all police aren't bad. We know all, all police aren't out here killing people, you know, with impunity. We're, we know that. But since that is the truth, and since that is the case, where are the cops who are saying, hey, put your gun away. This is not that you don't you don't need to pull your gun out in this situation where are the cops who will say that where are the cops who will turn in the bad cops where are the where are the good apples who will turn in the bad apples and the problem again as trevor noah said in his vi in his video is that the good apples know that they are fighting against a system and the system will probably not allow them to fight their fight or win their fight or even live to initiate the fight and so 
I just have, yeah, I have a lot of thoughts <laughs> swimming around <clears throat> in my head. And um, it's, 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 it's angering, it's frustrating, it's sad um, to constantly see people who look like you, look like your friends, look like your family members gunned down or harassed or um, pepper sprayed or tased or whatever constantly for doing nothing wrong. So many people will say comply. So many people will say, don't give the cop any reason to feel threatened. And my question is, if you as a cop are threatened by everything, you should not be holding a weapon of destruction. And you shouldn't have to, as a person, diminish your natural instinct to protect yourself against someone who is supposed to pre supposed to be protecting you especially when you've done nothing wrong if you feel threatened and the person who you feel threatened by happens to be a cop you're going to run you're going to you're going to try to defend yourself and we as black people should not be told to abandon every natural instinct that we have to protect ourselves for fear that that natural instinct will get us killed by a person who's supposed to be protecting and serving us. That doesn't compute. So, yeah, my heart is heavy, my mind is heavy, and I just wanted to kind of share those thoughts and, um, Yeah, it's exhausting, it's tiring, it's frustrating, it's angering, there's so many things. And the fact that there will be so many people who will find a way to explain it away or justify it makes it even worse. So saying all that to say, you know, rest. I don't even know what to say to, to I don't even know what to say rest you're not required to watch every video you're not required to watch trials that even, that shouldn't even be trials you're not required to explain or teach people who do not truly have a desire to learn or understand google is free and there are plenty of platforms out here that seek to help people understand racism and white supremacy and over policing of, of black and brown people in this country. There are plenty of platforms out there who make it their job to help people understand. So if you do not have the bandwidth to teach someone, if you do not have the bandwidth to explain to someone, if you do not have the bandwidth to hold someone's hand while they learn about this country, then you're not required to do that. So. That's what I have to share with you guys today. You know, I continue to live my life in a way that does not allow fear to control me. And I encourage you all to do the same. Psalm 91 is always a help for me. <laughs> if you don't know it, look it up. If you do know it, remember it. And remember the euphoria of fearlessness trumps the comfort of staying safe. I'll talk to you next week.